Hi guys, welcome back to another GarageBand how-to. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to use Auto-Tune in GarageBand, a very valuable tool that I suggest using on your vocals. It's up to you to based on how much you want to use. So let's take a look at this lead vocal in this song, just soloing it out for a second. I wonder if we're ever enough it's sad to say we never now with noticed. the rest of the instrumentation. It's time to double down or give up. So depending on how much you want to auto-tune you use, likely genre dependent. Now this is me singing and it's a good take. I'm more or less already in tune as I'm singing. So I've loaded up two auto-tune plugins that I want to highlight and they're both in the controls window. Under this button here, you can also press B on your keyboard and we'll put up the controls. This is where we have our plugins. If you don't see these things, it might just be because it's snapped up like this. So just snap it down. And you might have some blue stuff um, on, you might have some of these gray things. Don't worry about too much about this. What we wanna highlight here is the last two, pitch correction and UAD auto-tune. And I will actually start from scratch just so you can see where I get them. So pitch correction is built into GarageBand. It's also in Logic. And how we turn it on in GarageBand is an, you can actually go here and add it under pitch because it's not there. So where it's hidden is in the editor window. If we just press scissors or press E on our keyboard, here we go, pitch correction. So we have the slider here, zero being no auto-tune, 100 being auto-tune. And we have the option to limit it to key or not. So watch what happens when it's at 100, when it's a limit to key. I wonder if we're ever enough. You can hear it, right? It's sad to say we never noticed. It's time to double down or give up. Press E and just dial that back. Living life in the moment. Every time we were bluffing, thinking that it was all for nothing and I don't know why but so you really have to just loop it at the top play it in context with the music and choose if you want to limit to key or not and at like whatever taste value you want sometimes you kind of want that feeling of auto-tune and go for it I wonder if we're ever enough if you want to it's tile it back to say we never noticed it's time to double down or give up I live in life in the moment Every time we were bluffing So sometimes auto-tune gets a bad rep because people overuse auto-tune and then it's very noticeable on tracks and then it just becomes that song you've heard before. But you can really use auto-tune to taste so it just smooths out your vocal where it's hardly noticeable. And I... On all my tracks, I have auto-tune, but you don't hear the auto-tune, but it's, it, if you took the auto-tune off, I think you would hear the difference. So it's a very subtle plugin that you should add just to smooth out your vocal. Now, that's how to use auto-tune in GarageBand. I will just uh, open up the controls window again and notice how it has pitch correction here because we've added it in the editor window. I want to add a paid plugin. So if you go out and buy a paid auto-tune, because there are a lot of paid uh, auto-tune plugins. Waves has an auto-tune plugin that's really good and the Terrace auto-tune which I have brought to you by Universal Audio and it's right here. Looks like this and you can use this type of auto-tune. Now paid auto-tunes will work a little bit better. They'll be a little more smooth and they'll sound a little a little bit better. So you pick the key, we're actually happen to be in C major. I can just go slow with a minimum, you can humanize it. This actually tries to make it a bit more human, tries to balance it out a bit, and it will sound like this. I wonder if we're ever enough. That's so really it's smoothing it out. We never noticed. Medium. It's time to double down or give up. Fast. I live in life in the moment. Every time we were bluffing Thinking that it was all for nothing And I don't know why but we had it all at the wrong time Actually what I think is happening there is our 
auto tune that we've added in lo in uh, GarageBand is getting in the way of our Antares auto tune. So I'm just taking that off, and I have turned it off here. Time, the wrong time. I wonder if we're ever enough. I can really hear that. It's sad to say we never this one. noticed. It's time to double down or give up. Start living life in the moment. Every time we were bluffing, thinking that it was all for nothing. And I don't know why, but we had it all at the wrong time. The wrong time. So that really just smooths it out. When it comes to, not all plugins are like this, but when it comes to autotune, the paid autotune plugins are better than the stock autotune plugins, in my opinion. That's how to use autotune in GarageBand. Thanks for sticking around to this uh, for this GarageBand how-to, and I hope to see you in the next one.